Hey everyone, I'm your host Jibo, and this is Egypt's Child Part 18. Young Thug, who I just ended the last part with, can be seen here with Travis Scott and Marilyn Manson. So seeing how Travis and Young Thug both have wings, well, you'll see why this is significant in a second. On a song called Telekinesis by Travis Scott featuring SZA and Future, he says, and I quote, Mobbing with my angels dodging Lucifer. Seeing how Future and SZA do the same hand signs, it should make you wonder, how are you dodging Lucifer when you're right next to him? That's right. As you can see, Marilyn Manson next to Travis Scott has the sigil of Lucifer tattooed on his hand. So Marilyn being pictured with Asia Argento, a lady who has wings on her, not to mention referencing Lucifer herself, well, there you have it. Marilyn can also be seen with Skepta, another artist who has wings on his chest. So all of this together should speak for itself. But let's get a little deeper. When I went on Skepta's Instagram, I found this guy's picture with to the right, who is not only following approximately 999 people, but also has a rose and a spiderweb tattooed on him, which would make him being connected to Skepta much more interesting. Skepta can be seen in the bottom picture with Pharrell, who had a song with Tyler the Creator and 21 Savage. 21 Savage on the right and left can be seen not only showing the same hand sign as Skepta you see at the bottom, but having wings on his chest to the right, just like I had shown with Skepta a few seconds ago. So seeing this, seeing Tyler the Creator who was on the same song with 21 Savage and Pharrell doing all of this, well, it should make the Masonic attire 21 Savage is wearing not to mention the all-seeing eye of Horus on his belly button, much more obvious as to what it is. But going back to Marilyn, seeing him with Skepta should speak for itself. But when you find out next to the same post Skepta was showing the triangle hand sign, you can see a picture with ASAP Rocky, whose wife Rihanna does the same, not to mention having a wing tattoo of Isis on her chest. Well, this makes both of them doing the vow of silence, not to mention the one eye, much more apparent as to how connected Everyone truly is. Staying on track with Skepta and ASAP, Skepta can be seen with this guy named Ryan to the right, who just like ASAP he was pictured with, shows the same vow of silence. So when you see Marilyn Manson who was pictured with Skepta doing it, all three of them together tells its own tale. And if that wasn't enough to convince you of what you're seeing, then finding out Eminem who was pictured with Marilyn not only is showing the same vow of silence, but also has an all-seeing eye tattoo just like him, well... This makes Eminem and Gwen Stefani, who have a song together, much more interesting. On a page called Loudwire, I found out Corey Taylor of the band Slipknot is associated to Marilyn. So finding out Corey does the vow of silence three times, this should really make you wonder what you're seeing. And on the same page Loudwire, I saw on the top of their page, this video that's 4 minutes and 44 seconds in length. The reason why that's so crazy is because the video that I had found Corey Taylor on was 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Huh. I really feel like I'm being led. Marilyn Manson's influence is everywhere. So when you see Skrilla in the middle, having the same hairstyle as him, well, it should make what Trippy Red's doing on the right much more obvious. Seeing Marilyn with Charlie Hunnam, another person who does the same triangle hand sign like him, is another example that proves my points. If you want to see more of Marilyn like how he's connected to Billy Corgan, Lil Uzi Vert, Norman Reedus, and Johnny Depp, then I urge you to check out my earlier videos in order, because that's where you'll find all of it. There's absolutely too much information to keep bringing up the same stuff. That's why I never do. And remember how a few seconds ago, I said I felt like I was being led? Well, the song that was being played in the video that was 4 minutes and 44 seconds long, I actually enjoyed. So when I went to listen to it, it surprised me like it should surprise you, Lucifer was referenced in the song. So, back to square one. If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. <laughs> 